Hi, this is just a quick run through of the C100 with the Atomus Ninja 2. This is an awesome combination, same sensor um, and lens combination as the C300, C500. Internal recordings limited on the C100, but with the Ninja, obviously, you bypass that. And so this combination gives you an exceptional um, high end solution. So what we've got here is the Ninja recording from the HDMI sensor output of the camera. Inside the camera, there's a few settings to, to be aware of. The first one being that when I'm recording, go to the right menu. Settings here. What frame rate we're doing, we're gonna do 25 PSF, HDMI, Time code on, rec command on. And now we have time code from the C100 and command over HDMI, which gives you all of that SDI functionality that you, you get with the SDI cameras, which are more expensive. Okay, so that allows me to now record 25p from the 25pf uh, setting inside the Canon. Now, you'll notice that we're displaying 50i here. The reason we're displaying 50i is 25 PF is 50i, but sent from progressive frames. So what the, what you if you know your 25 PF in here and not actual interlaced, you can just touch that and go to 25p. So that gives you the 25p setup. If you'd like to do 24p, then it will give you native 24p from the sensor, and that is a setting you need to change to 60 hertz frequency, and then change the frame rate to 24. Now I'm all ready to record. I'll go in, make sure my monitor etc is set up correctly. Check my peaking, zebra, false color. All right, I'm pretty happy with that with that shot. And now I'm gonna hit record on the camera. And you'll notice that my time code is the same and I'm recording. Here's my start stop. So there's your wonderful 422 10-bit directly from the sensor of the camera in 24p, 25p, 30p, 50i and 60i for the C100. An exceptional camera and great combination with the Ninja 2.